One more book. Uh -oh. oh, another book. When are we going to be able to go to sleep? But this is one of my favorite books. You guys are going to really like it. Oh. One more story, Mommy. This is my favorite story. I love how he didn't have any friends because he was a short giraffe. But then later he grew tall and then he made lots of friends. Oh, all right. I guess one more book won't hurt. Once upon a time, there lived the shortest giraffe. His name was Eli. Unlike all of the other giraffes around him, he was very, very short. Poor Eli had no friends. No other giraffe would play with him. Your neck is too short. You're no giraffe. All the other giraffes made fun of Eli. So poor Eli had no friends. I feel bad for Eli, mommy. At school, Miss Barbie says that we shouldn't make fun of others because they're different and everybody is beautiful. They should be friends with him even if he's short. Aw, you sweetie. Miss Barbie is right. Everyone is unique and beautiful in their own way and they should have been friends with Eli. Oh, I'm trying to sleep, but I can't sleep because the light is on. Finally, is this story over? Can we all go to sleep now, please? Your sister's right, sweetie. It's time to go to sleep now that you've had many bedtime stories. I turn off the light, but I'm scared of the dark, mommy. And I'm not sleepy yet. Can we please, please, please with a strawberry cherry on top? Just have one more bedtime story, please, mommy? Uh -oh. Wait, wait, wait. What? No, I object. She's had like five bedtime stories already. This is outrageous. Oh my gosh, mom, you are spoiling her so much. I know she's the youngest one, but she gets everything she wants all the time. And I need my beauty sleep. Otherwise, I'm going to start breaking out. Can we, Can we please, please go to sleep, sleep now? Hmm, your big sisters are right. You've had a lot of bedtime stories tonight. And mommy, can't we read this one just one more time? Because it's my favorite story. And I really like how Barbie married her prince. Please, mommy, just one more. Because I'm not sleepy yet. I can't sleep. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's drink your hot milk. That always helps to get you sleepy. My goodness, I am getting old. I brought you some hot milk before bed and I almost forgot to give you your milk bottle. Let's drink this so that you can hopefully get sleepy. Ugh, I can't believe this is taking forever. My youngest sister is so spoiled. She takes hours to get to bed every night. And we share the same room, so we can't sleep unless she sleeps. Mommy, can you please sing me a song as I drink my milk, please, Mommy? All right, let's see what I'll sing here. I wanted to escape for a while. Thought that a couple of drinks could ease my mind. I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight. I know that I need to get myself back in the game. Don't you think it can be so unfair sometimes how much mom spoils little sister? I don't remember mom reading us this many bedtime stories when we were kids. <gasps> Yeah, I don't remember getting this many stories when I was a kid. And mom sings to her every night too. That's why they say the youngest is always the favorite child because they always get so spoiled. Mommy, I drank all the milk and I really like that song. Can you sing me another one? Good job, you finished your milk. But no, it is time to go to sleep now. If you don't sleep, your big sisters can't sleep either, sweetie. We have to go to sleep. Okay, but if I go to sleep, can we please, please, please go to the mall tomorrow, mommy? Yes, you can come with me to the mall because I have a doctor's appointment and my doctor's clinic is inside the mall so we can do some shopping after my doctor's appointment. Yay! Okay! And, and tomorrow, can we please go to the toy store? Because I want to buy a big dollhouse and some new dolls. You can never have too many dolls. No, I don't know about that. Every time we go to the toy store, you always beg for a new doll or a dollhouse and you have a lot of dolls. But you can never have too many dolls, mommy. Okay, well, we'll see tomorrow if you go to sleep. Hey honey, do you need help? You've been putting Daisy to sleep for hours now. I figure you can use a hand. 
I'm guessing the girls are still not asleep yet. Dad, Mom has read her like five bedtime stories, but she just won't go to sleep. Mom also sang to her and gave her a bottle of milk to drink. It's been hours and she just won't sleep. The girls are right. Daisy is being very fussy tonight. I've read her like four or five bedtime stories, sang her a song, given her hot milk to drink, but she's still not sleepy. And I think it's because we gave her a bit too much sugar before bed. Uh -oh. Daddy, maybe I don't have to sleep anymore because I'm not sleepy. Or maybe you can help me if you sing me a song. Uh -oh. Daddy, can you please sing me a bedtime song? What? Seriously? Another bedtime song? How many songs does mom and dad have to sing to you before you go to sleep? Oh, I can't believe how spoiled my little sister is. Oh my, okay, well let me see if I can give this a try. Okay, pumpkin, come to daddy here and I will sing you a song. Oh, please do because I am exhausted. I am out of ideas. I don't know how we're going to get her to go to sleep. I might be able to go to sleep if you sing me my favorite bedtime song, daddy. Hmm. Oh, all right. Okay. I'll sing you a bedtime song. Wish that I could find the words to describe you now. <sighs> Your dad has As I'm lying voice. next to you and the world goes like you you quiet. Sing, Daddy. Wish that I could make you see how you fit me perfectly. Every time I hear your dad sing, it's like I fall in love with him all over again. <sighs> the one who understands. Okay, that's it for tonight. It's time to go to bed now, sweetheart. Time to sleep. No, wait, 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 mommy. You sing too. Sing with daddy together. <sighs> now you want both mom and dad to sing to you? Is there no end to this nightmare? Mom, Dad, you guys need to stop spoiling her. Just because she's the baby of the house, she always gets whatever she asks for. It's so unfair. Could stay forever. We lying in my arms. I didn't think that I would find that someone. So just stay for a little Make a good team, honey. We haven't sang that song for a while. I think since our wedding. Oh yeah, our wedding day. We sang this song in front of all of our friends. It was so beautiful. We should sing together more sometimes. Now it's time for bed. So let's tuck you in. Yep, we'll tuck you in with this blanket here. Okay, honey, you really need to go to sleep now so that your big sisters can sleep too. Oh my gosh, yes, please. Okay, but can we please turn on the light light? I'm scared of the dark. Oh, honey, why are you scared of the dark? Your sisters are just right there. But okay, here is your night light and you can have it on for tonight. But honey, there's nothing to be scared of because your sisters are going to be here with you. Okay, well, I'll just leave the night light right here. I'll just put it in the center of the room so that it'll keep the room nice and bright for everyone. Wait, what? No! Why do you need a nightlight? We are literally right here. Mom, how am I going to sleep with the light on? I've already been trying to sleep for the past couple of hours. This is outrageous. I'm sorry, girls, but your little sister is being very fuzzy tonight. Don't worry, she'll fall asleep any minute now, and then you can turn off the nightlight when she's asleep. Mom, this is so unfair. Girls, please, please. There's no other way. We have to try to get your sister to go to sleep. We'll turn off the nightlight later when she's asleep. Thank you, Mommy. But, but even though there's a nightlight, I still get scared when it's too quiet. So can we also turn on my favorite sleepy bedtime music song? Please, Mommy? Please, Daddy? Oh, how do I say no to that cute face? Okay, Princess. We can turn on some music just for tonight so that you can go to sleep. There you go, your favorite song. This song will be on repeat all night. It just keeps getting worse. I keep thinking it's going to get better, but no, it just keeps getting worse. Now there's going to be music playing all night. How are we going to sleep, Dad? Ugh, it's 
like my parents can't say no to my little sister because she's so cute. It's like she's the favorite or something because she's the youngest. <laughs> Why was I born the middle child? Why couldn't I have been the youngest? I want to be the baby. So unfair. No girls, girls, now, now, there's no favoritism. We love all of you girls the same. It's just that your sister is still young, so we have to cater to her a little bit more. Besides, she'll be asleep soon, and then you can turn off the music. Sweet dreams, princess. Mwah. Sweet dreams, don't let the bed bugs bite. But your sisters are here, so you have nothing to be scared of. Good night, mommy. I hope you have the sweetest dreams and don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, princess. If you go to sleep now, you'll be able to wake up early, fresh, and ready to go to the mall with your mommy and I. And the toy store. Mwah. Good night, big sisters. Good night, crystal star. Good night, uptown girl. Night. <sighs> finally, we can finally go to sleep. Thank you for being so patient, girls. Good night, dears. <sighs> Speaking of which, I think it's time we go get ready for bed too. <sighs> You're right, it's time to go to bed. I'm exhausted and I have to wake up tomorrow for my doctor's appointment. Okay, honey, let's go to bed. Good night, girls. Good night, girls. Sweet dreams. Nighty night. <laughs> I can't sleep. Crystal Star? Crystal Star? Uptown Girl? Uptown Girl? Big Sisters? Are you guys asleep? Big Sisters? Are you guys asleep? Oh, clearly not. What's wrong now? Daisy, what's wrong? You have to go to sleep. I want to, but I can't sleep. Can you please read me a bedtime story? Please, pretty please, big sister, with a strawberry cherry banana pie on top. Oh, she's giving us the puppy face. Oh, all right, looks like we have no choice. We can't sleep unless Daisy sleeps. Okay, one more bedtime story, and then you have to promise you're going to go to sleep, okay? Our mom read you this book earlier, so I'm just gonna read it to you again. Once upon a time in a faraway land, there lived a beautiful princess. Daisy, you know this story. You've heard it a million times. <sighs> It's always like this. Every night before bed, my little sister gets everything she wants and mom and dad always spoils her because she's the favorite, because she's the baby of the house. But you know what? We spoil her too because we're her big sisters and we love her. Because just look at that cute puppy face whenever she pouts, Uptown Girl and I will give in and give her whatever she wants because she's our baby sister. So like, even if sometimes we feel it's unfair, what can we do? We love our baby sister so much. Big sisters, can you please sing me a bedtime song? Oh, alright. You find happiness out there. Oh, I think I'm finally getting sleepy now. My parents and my little sister are out shopping so I can finally watch some television and catch up on all my favorite shows. So nice to finally have the TV to myself. Mm, no, I don't want to watch that. Watch that already. Oh, this looks good. Ooh, Barbie dance competition. Right on. This is my kind of show. Mm, just gonna sit back and relax. Really hope I'm gonna be able to finish this entire show before mom and dad comes home. Oh, what are you watching? It's so loud. Can you like turn down the volume or something? And look at this mess. Oh, little sister always leaves her toys lying around everywhere and mom never says anything. Uh, oh, 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 oh my 
my heels, my heel. I don't want it to get stuck on my shoes. Mom is always making us clean our room, but yet little sister can leave her toys everywhere around the house. The entire living room is full of her toys. It's so unfair how my little sister gets away with everything just because she's the youngest of us. And why do I have to be the oldest? It's so unfair. I never get away with anything. Look at this mess. Oh, are you watching the Barbie dance competition? I already watched this episode. Can we like change the channel and watch something else? Because I already watched this. You're so late. Meow. Hi, Pinky. Do you want to watch TV with me? Oh, you want to be pet, don't you? You are such a snuggle bug cat. Aw. Meow. 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 Oh, you're so cute. Sorry, sis. Looks like Pinky voted and she wants to watch this show with me. So we're hanging out. Oh, come on. The Bachelorette is on and I really want to find out who she chooses and who she eliminates this week. Seriously, just watch your show another time. Let's watch The Bachelorette. Meh. We've watched every season of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette and they never pick anyone that we like. So... No, I'm gonna watch Barbie dance competition. Well, I'm older and mom left me in charge. So what? I woke up early so that I could watch TV. You snooze, you lose. You don't give me the remote. I'm gonna tell mom that you got a C- minus on the last math test. <gasps> you wouldn't. I'm gonna tell mom that you got a boyfriend. Whatever, I'm just gonna take the remote. My friends are going to be talking about the show at school and I don't wanna miss out on the combo. Hey, I was watching that. No, give me back the remote. No, it's mine. Give it. No, you give it. Let go. I'm gonna tell your friends that you pick your nose. I don't pick my nose. Yeah, but they don't know that. They'll believe me. Hey, Crystal Star, let go. Oh, you're so annoying. Fine, you want war? Well, I'm gonna tell your friends that you have sweaty armpits. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Let go. Hey, girls, we're home. What is with all that noise? Hi. If you don't let go, you're gonna regret it. I ain't gonna regret nothing. You let go. <sighs> girls, girls, please stop fighting. Can I ever come home to peace and quiet? Mine, no, mine, mine, mine. Oh. Hey, Mom, can you tell Crystal Star to let me watch my show? No, I'm not getting involved in this. You girls are old enough to figure your stuff out yourself. Hey, Mommy, I never fight. That's why I'm a good girl and I deserve new toys, right? Big sister, big sister, look. Mommy and Daddy took me to the mall today and we had ice cream and yogurt and lunch and we got a lot of stuff for me. Yeah, I think we might have gone overboard with that. Look at all of these bags. I knew I would regret going to the toy store with your little sister, but I couldn't resist her puppy face. <laughs> and now look, bought so much stuff at the mall. What? This is so unfair. You bought her toys? <laughs> I should have went to the mall today. Maybe I could have gotten a new outfit or something. Mom, it's so unfair. You're always buying toys and dolls for little sister. She's so spoiled. I know, I know. She does have a lot of toys, but girl, she also gets a lot of your handy downs. So some of those toys are yours. And the toys that we bought today here will be especially for her. I think she deserves new toys instead of just getting your handy down, girls. Mm. Mom, I feel like you're always taking baby sister's side in every argument. I promise I'm not. We went to the toy store and it was really big and I wanted everything there, but mommy was like, no, I can only pick a few items. So I got some new dolls. Oh, and I got a big new dollhouse. Mm, yeah. We got a big dollhouse. It's heavier than I thought. Hopefully, we'll have room for this gigantic dollhouse. Thank you, Daddy. It's a really pretty dollhouse. As soon as I saw it, I knew that I had to have it. There's so many pretty furnitures, and the bedrooms are huge. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. You got her another dollhouse? She already has a dollhouse. This one right here that she hasn't even played with. So why does she need another dollhouse when she already has one? But that's a handy down dollhouse. It's your dollhouse. It's not mine. And it's all sticky. You were eating candy and you got stickiness all on the door. I want my own dollhouse. And my dollhouse is even bigger than your dollhouse. Even though I still like my dollhouse, I'm I'm still gonna play with it, it's just that it's too small for some of my dolls. Whatever, it's just candy. You can just wipe it off. I can't believe you got a bigger dollhouse than my old dollhouse. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You're just jealous. We went to the mall and we even had ice cream. And then mommy took me shopping for some new clothes. And I got this whole new outfit. It's really pretty. And I got some dolls. And I also 
also got a new teddy bear. This is the best day ever. Mommy bought me a new outfit. It's really pretty. And she got me matching skirts and boots. This shirt is so fuzzy and warm. And this skirt matches it. And also these boots. It's a complete pink set. Then afterwards, we went to the toy store and look at all the toys I got. I got this new Barbie doll where I can style her hair. And then I got myself a fairy doll. She has wings. And then I got myself a truck so that um, I already had the Barbie car, so I wanted a truck. Oh, and look in this bag. I got this really cute soft teddy bear pillow. It's so cute. And then I also got... Ariel! I always wanted Princess Ariel and now I have her. Uh, that's all. Ta-da! OMG, look at all the stuff that you got. How much did mom and dad spend on you today? You got all that stuff and it's not even Christmas yet? <laughs> Life is so unfair. I really liked my old dollhouse, but all the doors are really sticky. And it's really small. There's just not enough bedrooms. See, it's way smaller than my new dollhouse. Even though I still like it, I'll still play with it. Ta-da! This room is so big. And look at all the furniture that comes with the dollhouse. My dolls will fit in here. And also, this dollhouse even comes with a dining room table and a kitchen. And there are stairs to go up. There's even a second floor. My other dollhouse is only one floor. This is way bigger. We get it, we get it. Stop rubbing it in our face. Seriously, we're just gonna have to accept that our little sister gets whatever she wants from our parents just because she's the youngest and they think she's adorable. Whatever, I'm getting back to my uh -oh. show. What? No, I didn't agree to that. Forget your stupid show. Come on, let's watch The Bachelorette. I have the remote. No, I don't want to watch The Bachelorette show. Besides, I didn't even watch last episode. I'm not gonna know what happened. Just let me finish my show and then you can watch yours. Give me back the remote. No, my show's gonna be over. No, then let me watch it now and then you can hear it from your friends. No, give me the remote. No! Oh, this is not the relaxing weekend that I was really hoping for. Girls, girls, please don't fight. You girls are giving me a headache. I just want to have a relaxing weekend. Mom, can I watch my favorite cartoon? Crystal Star, can I watch Tangle? Oh, or maybe Cinderella. Oh, no, 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 Sleeping Beauty. That's my favorite. Oh, wait, no, I like The Little Mermaid, too. We're not gonna watch Disney Princess. You can watch that anytime. My show airs right now, and I can only watch it live. So we're watching The Bachelorette. Mom, I wanna watch TV and watch Disney Princess, but Crystal Star won't let me. Please let me watch Disney Princess, please. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 don't cry, don't cry, not the waterworks. Girls, girls, can you please just let your little sister watch her favorite show because she needs to eat something. Uh, we need to feed her a bottle and she needs to take her nap because she's getting very cranky. Oh, why? <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. She got to go to the mall and get all of her favorite toys and get a new outfit and everything. And now she comes home and she just cries a little and she also gets to watch her shows. So unfair, Mom! I always watch Disney Princess when I'm drinking my bottle of milk. Just for a little bit, girls. I promise. Your sister will be taking her nap soon. Nah, uh I'm not sleepy at all. I'm gonna stay awake. I'm gonna stay awake. I'm gonna stay awake forever. I know it's hard, girls. Being a big sister can be really hard sometimes. There are a lot of sacrifices. But please, uh, she needs to watch something so that she can take her nap. Fine, whatever. Just take the remote. I'm just gonna find out from my friends what happens at school. And I'm not gonna be part of any of the conversations then. Here, just take it. Just take it. Go watch your Disney princess show. Thank you, Crystal Star. You're the bestest big sister ever. What do you guys want to watch? Do you want to watch Tangle? Or do you want to watch The Little Mermaid? Or Cinderella? Or Beauty and the Beast? Or, um, uh, The Princess and the Frog? <gasps> I know, let's watch Mulan. Yeah, today is a Mulan day. <clears throat> we don't care. We've seen all of these Disney princess shows a million times with you already. Yeah, just play anything. My favorite part, I wonder what happens next. 
you know what happens next because you've seen this a million times. Gotta admit, the songs are really catchy. Now that's the spirit. Yup, sharing is caring. Let's see what's going on in the world today. Hmm, nothing beats coffee and the morning newspaper. Ooh, something smells real good. And girls, it's time for breakfast. Come down for breakfast, please. I don't know what the girls do every morning, but they take forever in the washroom. Our house seems to be getting smaller and smaller as our family grows. I think if we have another child in the future, honey, we're going to have to move to a bigger house. We don't have enough washrooms in this house. I could not agree with you more. Last night was a complete nightmare getting ready for bed. I need to use the toilet. Hey, wait, what? Do I look pretty? A what? Daisy's in here now too? Mommy, can you put in a lot of bubble bath soap for me? <laughs> Oh my gosh, stop splashing, Daisy. You're getting water everywhere. And for a bath. Huh? Hmm? Wait, what? <gasps> no! Go, Pinky. It's time for your bath. Oh, you're getting water everywhere. <gasps> what a mess. It was chaotic, to say the least. We definitely need to buy a new house if we're going to keep growing our family. There's not enough washrooms for all of us. And I would love to have another baby. And Daisy can use a little sister. But I also do think we need to learn to discipline the kids and Pinky a lot more. You're right, you're right, honey. In the future, we will learn to discipline the girls and Pinky better. Now, speaking of the girls, where are they? Breakfast is getting cold. Girls, come down, please. If you don't come down right now, you're not going to be eating breakfast today. Mom, Dad, tell Crystal Star to let me use the washroom. She's been hogging it all morning and she won't let me in. I haven't even washed my face yet. Good morning, rise and shine. Ooh, something smells good. And Uptown Girl, I heard you complaining and tattletaling to mom and dad on me, but it's not my fault. If you wanted the washroom, you should have woke up earlier. The early bird gets the worm. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Mommy, mommy, look. Big sister, help me tie up my hair today. How does it look? Ooh, very cute, sweetie. But sit down, please. It's time for breakfast now, girls. Okay, just about time. The eggs and the bacon are starting to get cold. Crystal Star and Daisy wanted bacon, so here are your plates, girls. Go, let me put it on the table. Mmm, bacon, my favorite. Mommy, did you make it extra crispy? And I also like it when my eggs look pretty. Why do you care what the eggs look like when you're just going to eat it anyways? Mommy, I don't want this round plate. I want the hardship plate. And I don't like my egg. I can't eat this. I can't eat this. My egg doesn't look pretty enough. Crystal Star's egg is prettier. And I want the heart-shaped plate, Mommy. <sighs> Stop being so fussy, little sister. It looks exactly the same. If you eat it, it's just going to go into your stomach anyways. Who cares what it looks like? Just eat your breakfast already. Sometimes you can just be so spoiled, Daisy. Uh-uh, I'm not spoiled. I just like my eggs to be pretty. And that heart-shaped plate is my plate. You know my favorite shape is a heart. I want this plate. Give me the plate. Girls, girls, it's way too early to be fighting. We can never seem to have a peaceful morning together. But Daisy, sweetheart, your sister is right. Once you eat it, it doesn't matter what the eggs look like. And Crystal Star, you're also wrong too. You are the eldest sister. So can't you just let your little sister have her heart-shaped plate this one time? But mom, it's just not fair. It's not fair. She always gets everything that she wants all the time. She's always touching my things without asking for permission and then ruining them like she ruined my blush yesterday. Yeah, well, she also ruined my lipstick yesterday too. But we're never going to be able to eat breakfast if you don't give her what she wants. Oh, no. So it's not a big deal. Just let her have her stupid heart-shaped plate. <sighs> Fine, I don't want to argue all morning. Okay, here, you can have this plate then. Here's your heart-shaped plate and your perfect egg. Yay! Thanks, big sister. You're the bestest. And I'm really sorry that I dropped your blush yesterday. I'm really, really sorry and I won't touch it again. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad that's resolved. Hmm, I'm gonna eat this bacon first because it's nice and crispy. Mm, 
is really crispy. But mommy, tomorrow if you make bacon, can you make my bacon even more crispier? I like it when it's extra crunchy, and I want my bacon hotter. No bacon for me this morning. I'm having a sausage. <laughs> Looks so good. I love bacon, but I also love sausages. Oh, that does look really yummy. I want a sausage. Oh. Mine, mine, mine. Um, excuse me. What are you doing, little sister? This is my sausage. You wanted bacon this morning. Remember, you told mom you wanted bacon. I already ate my bacon. I want sausages now, Mommy. I didn't get a sausage. Can I please eat Uptown Girl sausage? Mommy, please? Daisy, you didn't even finish eating your bacon yet. See, Mom? See? This is what I mean. She always wants whatever that we have. <sighs> now there's going to be another fight. Oh, dear. Well, not my problem. I'm just going to eat my toast quietly over here. Hmm? Uh. It's not a big deal. I gave her my heart-shaped plate and my eggs. So why don't you just give her your sausage or else she won't stop crying. Uh, no way. It's not the same thing. You gave her your plate and you got her plate. So you still got to eat eggs and bacon at the end of the day. If I give her my sausage, I won't have a sausage to eat. No way. She's not getting my sausage. Girls, girls, why are you girls fighting already? It's too early for this. <sighs> Can't we ever have a peaceful breakfast? Okay, Daisy, you can have mommy's sausages. Here. Good thing that I haven't ate it yet. But Daisy, sweetheart, next time when mommy asks you if you want bacon or sausage for breakfast and you choose bacon, then you have to eat bacon, okay? You can't take your sister's food. I love bacon. I did want to eat bacon this morning, but then after seeing Big Sister's sausage, I also want sausage. Thank you, Mommy. <sighs> she got what she wanted again. She always gets everything she wants. It's so unfair, right? Ugh. Our little sister is just too spoiled. Sometimes I think she's the favorite child. This is so unfair, Mom. Yeah, Mom, this is so unfair. <laughs> Whatever, no use crying over spilled milk. Might as well just eat my bacon. <laughs> this is really good. Oh, Mom, you don't have to pick me up after school today. My friends and I are going to do our homework together at her house, so I'll just be going over to her house after school. We have so much homework this semester. Oh, oh, I'm so proud, sweetheart. You have been taking your studies so seriously these days. And honey, what are your plans today? Well, today I do have a doctor's appointment. Uh, I feel like there's something a little off of my body, so I'm going to the doctor. Uh-oh. Mommy, are you feeling sick? Is the doctor going to give you a needle shot? Daddy, is the doctor going to give mommy a big needle shot? No, no, sweetheart. Your mom's just going in for a checkup. No shots today. Okay, well, that's our breakfast. Let's start heading out now. Aw, honey, doctors aren't scary. You'll see. Okay, girls, if you're done eating, give me your forks and knives. We're going to wash the dishes and head out for the day. Oh, oh, sorry. Hi, yes. Um, yes, yes, I'm here to see Dr. Sparkles. And what is your name, please? And what time is your appointment? Mommy, are we done yet? Can we go home yet? There are so many people here. Why don't we go next time? We can go get ice cream first. If we have time, maybe we can get ice cream after. But mommy has to see the doctor, sweetheart. Sorry about that. Um, yes, I believe I have an appointment at 1 p.m. with Dr. Sparkles. And it should be under tulips. Tulips, first name, and diamond, last name. Tulips, diamond. Okay, let me see if I can find you. Tulips, diamond at 1 p.m. Oh, here you are. I finally found you. Great. My mom, I mean, Dr. Sparkles will see you in a moment. Hi there. Is there a Miss Tulips Diamond? A Miss Tulips Diamond. Please follow me. Oh, hi. Yes, that's me. Come on, sweetheart. It's time to go see the doctor with mommy now. 
Hi there, so what brings you to me today? And mommy says she feels a little different. Can you please fix her, doctor? Oh, okay, so tell me what is going on? What are you feeling that you feel is a bit different? For the last week, I've been feeling extremely nauseous. And not only nauseous, but I feel like I have no energy. You know, I don't know what's wrong though. Oh, and I'm always hungry. I'm always craving something. I have so many cravings for food these days. And it also feels like my emotions are also all over the place. I'm moody a lot. Um, and it's not my time of the month right now, so I can't explain why any of these symptoms are happening. I don't even know what's wrong, too, half the time. See, I see. Well, let me listen to your heartbeat while we wait for your results to come back. Well, your heart sounds very stable and strong. I don't hear any problem. But I know I'm going through something. Like, I know it's not in my head. I just feel something is different. Like it's off. Well, you always have to trust a woman's intuition. Mom! I mean, Dr. Sparkles? I got the results here from the test. Here, I'll give it to the doctor to check and she'll explain to you. Perfect, thank you. Oh, great. I'm so nervous though, I wonder what it could be. I hope it's nothing serious. I hope I don't have anything serious. <gasps> okay, okay, just breathe, relax. I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay, what is it, doctor? I see, mm. I see, mm. I see, mm. What, what does that mean? Is something wrong with me? Am I sick? Not at all. Congratulations! You're just pregnant. All of those symptoms are symptoms of pregnancy. I suspected that those were early signs of pregnancy, but I just didn't want to just say anything before the results came out. <gasps> pregnant? What? Oh, that is such a surprise. We've been talking about it and trying for months now. Honey, did you hear that? Mommy's pregnant. Yes, did you? Where is your daughter? What? She was here just a moment ago. Oh no, where did she run off to? Oh dear, we have a loose toddler in the hospital. We have a loose toddler in the hospital. Oh no, she must have gotten bored and ran off. I guess once we have another baby, this is going to be another thing to take care of and worry about. I gotta go find my daughter. Okay, now for happier news, it's time for you to meet your newborn baby. Dazzle, honey, can you please grab the baby? Okay, the baby's name is Polly, right? And she's in the nursery. Okay, I'll be right back, Mom. This is my favorite room in the hospital. They are so cute. All oh, these babies are so cute. Oh, their moms are going to be so happy to meet them. Let's bring these babies to meet their mommies and big sisters. I'm back with the baby. Why do I feel like something is a little off? Here's your baby. Oh, make sure to support her neck. Thank you. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, look at that face. But, um, hmm. This is my baby, right? I'm not holding someone else's baby. You're sure this is my baby? Because, um, something seems a bit, um... Oh, is that my new baby sister? She is so cute! But her eye color is different from our entire family. She has brown eyes. Well, the doctor said that this is our baby. Okay. Something feels a little off to me. And we don't want the moms to take home the wrong baby. Okay, what does this chart say? Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh! No, Dazzle, I think you got the wrong baby. This isn't her baby. Oh my goodness, what a mixed up. No, 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 no. I am so sorry. This is not your baby. This isn't my baby? This isn't my baby sister? I am so sorry. No, it's not. There must have been a mixed up in the nursery. My daughters are helping me today at the hospital, but they're really still just teenagers. They're doing a, a school assignment to help out, and they must have made a mistake. Oh, where's my baby sister? And where's my baby? Hi there, thanks for waiting. I got the baby right here. She's so cute. Um, who wants to hold her? 
She's a little bit of a crier, but I've managed to get her to stop crying. Oh, she's precious. Do you think I can hold her? Oh, she's so cute. It took me a little longer to get her here because she was crying a little earlier. So I had to try to make her stop crying first. But now she's really happy. I bet she's really happy to meet her mom and big sisters. Now, why doesn't she look like us? Our eyes are blue and our eyes are brown. Mm, yeah, are, are you sure this is our baby? She's very cute, but she looks very different from the rest of the family. What do you mean? I think she looks exactly like me. <sighs> oh, little DJ. Neolicious, no, no, wait, we got the wrong baby. What? Here, here's the right baby. We gave the wrong babies to the wrong moms. What? How did that happen? Oh, this is so embarrassing. Uh, I guess that makes sense. We better swap the babies. I'm so sorry, ma'am. Let's swap babies. This is your baby right here. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm going to bring this baby to meet her new mom and big sister. Sorry about the mix-up. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Is this my new baby sister, mommy? Is she really our baby? Maybe she's not the right baby as well. But she does have my eyes. See, we both have brown eyes. I can't believe they made such a big mistake. But I'm pretty sure this baby is our baby sister because she looks just like you when you were younger, little DJ. Oh, she's so cute, mom. Can I hold her, please? Yes, but please make sure you support her head. Baby's head are still very weak. Gotta support her head and support her neck because baby's necks and head are really weak. Oh, what a picture perfect family! And whew, well, we fixed our mistake. That was a close call. I'm back, I'm back. Sorry, sorry. This is the right baby. I am so sorry for the mix up. And I'm pretty sure we got it right this time. Uh, let me just check the chart. Um, yes, yes. This is the correct baby. And she has blue eyes just like yours. They're really beautiful. She's so cute. The baby that we saw earlier is really cute. But I'm so glad that we're finally meeting the new baby sister. She's really cute too. Oh, Mom, can I hold her please? Of course, sweetheart. Here you go. Oh, now she's like laughing at me. She's so cute. Oh, look at those chubby cheeks. And his hands are so small. And look at those little teeny weeny feet. Oh, babies are just so adorable. Oh, that was a close call. But what I wonder is, how did this mix-up even happen? Oh, babies. I love babies. So cute. <laughs> Because I'm only three. Oh wait, am I four? I don't know what your names are. I wonder what your names will be. Would you like me to give you a name? I will name you Strawberry. And I will name you Grapes. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally made these fall down. Uh -oh. I'll help put it back up for you guys. Um, which one of you guys have this tag? Uh, I think it's yours. Sorry, I was touching and I dropped it by accident. But don't worry, I'll put it back on for you. There, all done. Daisy, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, you had me so worried. Oh, my baby girl. Oh, you can't be running off like that, okay, Daisy? You had me worried sick. Okay, mommy's done her checkup. We can go for ice cream now. Hey, really? Really, we're gonna go for ice cream? Sorry, Mommy. I won't run off again in the future. I promise. Mm-hmm. Okay, you promise. Oh, are those newborn babies? Oh, they're so cute. Bye, guys. Okay, let's go for ice cream now. Hello? Oh, hey, Swag. What's up? <gasps> really? <gasps> really? That sounds like fun, but I can't. I have a trip tomorrow, and we have a plane to catch. So I think I'm just going to stay home for today. Yeah, thanks for inviting me, but I don't think I can make it to the house party later. I have to pack and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, as much as I want to, I don't know if 
I'll have time to make you anything, though. I really have to pack, and we have an early flight tomorrow morning. <gasps> uh huh? Ooh, uh huh? I don't think my mom's gonna let me go either because tomorrow we have an early flight, and she wants to make sure we go to bed early so we can wake up. Really? 50 bucks? Alright, I guess I can make you something then. Mm -hmm. Okay, blue. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, your mom's a flight attendant, right? Wouldn't it be funny if we ran into your mom, like small world? Okay, something blue. Got it. I'll try my best. I'll see what I can put together. You know, I don't really have much time right now, but I will try. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you later then. Just come on over to grab the outfit later before the party. Okay, bye. See you. Bye. Did you get an invite to the house party too? Yup, and I gotta make swag an outfit. I can't believe you said yes to that. I'm just gonna rest. Here's my inspiration and fashion design book. I'm gonna need to design an outfit for swag. <sighs> She's snoring so loud I can't even think. Okay, let's see. I'll do this and this. Hmm. That looks pretty good. I think this will be a cute outfit. Sweet, I'm done. I think I have the perfect look. I am good. I am so, so good. This is gonna be such a cool look. I can't believe you picked up a job before our trip. Uh, which fabric should I pick? Hmm. Ooh, pick the black one. Uh, yeah, no. Swag says she wants something blue, but I'll mix it with some other colors. Why did you even say yes? Why don't you just relax? We have an early flight to catch tomorrow. Why did you even have to pick up this job? Uh, cause we need the money, duh. It's a family vacation and I wanna be able to buy stuff. Now be quiet. Don't disturb me. I have to get to work now. Gotta make the perfect outfit for Swag. Since she is paying me 50 bucks after all. Hopefully this is the right size. Okay, gotta trim this part off. And really sew on the zipper. Whoa, this design is really challenging. Maybe I should have made something easier. Gotta sew as fast as I can. Cause I still gotta make the top after this. Yes, I am finally done, I think. Okay, I put this on the mannequin. It looks super cute, doesn't it? Oh, my designs are getting even better. Mm, looks big though. Mm. Is it big? Hopefully it's gonna fit swag. Uh -oh. I'll figure it out after I'm done making the top since I still have to make a cute top with this skirt. Mm, cut, cut, cut. Sew it together. Okay, this top is really challenging because there are a lot of small, intricate details. But I'm up for the challenge, of course, since I'm the best fashion designer in town. Don't make it too big then. Because the skirt part looks huge. That's literally the design. Okay, I'll just sew a few more here. I think I'm done! Gonna cut off some loose ends. Is that the top? Are you done? Yep, this is the top. Isn't it so cute? Look at all the pretty details. And it's blue as well. Now that's the whole look. Okay, do you think you can help me like try on this outfit, sis? Just by eyeing this, I can tell that it's not gonna fit Swag. The skirt is big. Uptown girl, sis, I think you're the same size as Swag. Can you like try this on? and see if it fits. I wanna make sure that it's gonna fit. Please be my model. All right, sure, can't say no to that since I love clothes. Ta-da! Let me zip this up. That way it'll look cooler. It's pretty cute, but I'm pretty sure it's big. Look how loose it is, and it doesn't really have any form. Uh -oh. oh my gosh, I love the look and the idea was so good, but it's leather, so it's really hard to make it form-fitting, you know? It's a little loose at the top and at the waist. Okay, hold on, there's a belt. Let me tighten the belt then. Yeah, even with the belt tightened, it's still pretty loose, yo. And like, it's not really form-fitting, plus the top is loose. Is it loose? Let me try to tighten it some more. Hold still, please. Let me just see what I can do. 
Maybe you should have chosen like a different fabric or something, cause this fabric's rough. Mm. <gasps> Oops! Uptown girl, what did you do? There's like chocolate stains all over the outfit. Oh my god! It's leather, so it's literally not gonna wash off. Oh, oh my! It looks like my hands are dirty and I didn't realize it. Both of them. Uh, whoops, I must have gotten some chocolate on my hands earlier when I was eating it. You know how chocolate can melt and stuff. Oh my gosh, what do I do? The stain, it's not coming off. Oh, it's ruined, it's ruined, this outfit's ruined. Sorry, sorry, this was my bad, but I swear I did not do this on purpose. It was a complete accident. Oh my goodness, I think I used all of the blue fabric that I had too. I don't even know what I'm gonna make now. I have to make her something else. Well, why don't you use like jean fabric? That's blue, you know? Oh, jeans, right. Okay, let me look through my fabric selection. I need to make a trip to the fabric store because I am running low on fabric. Okay, maybe I'll find some jean fabric here. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise, you know, since this outfit fits kind of big. So now you have a chance to make a new outfit that will fit her better. Except that I don't have much time, you know, she's gonna be here any minute. Oh, I gotta design something new. Do like a jean skirt or something. I think this top would look really cute with a jean skirt. Since you also have jean fabric. Right, right, hold on. I think I have the design and I'll make it a little smaller. Oh, and don't forget the belt. In case you make it big again, at least have a belt. I'm just gonna sit here and relax while you make another outfit. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a short skirt because I don't have much jean fabric. Okay, I think it looks pretty cute. I think. All right, well, it'll do. And this is exactly why I don't pick up a job before vacation. Should be a simple design, so it'll be easy. Go, Crystal Star! I'm rooting for you! <sighs> Thanks. At least the design for this skirt is a lot easier, so I'll be able to make it faster. Okay, I think I'm almost done. I want to make sure that it's perfect, though. Okay, I am done. The skirt is ready. It's a little short because I ran out of fabric, but I think it should still fit. Mm. Oh no, it looks kind of boxy. Do you want me to model it for you again? It still looks kind of big, sis. Here, why don't I wear it? I'll be very careful not to stain it. Alright, be careful. Let me try this skirt on. Ooh, it's short, but it's super cute. And look, it really matches with the top. Ooh, I love it. It's so trendy. I am seriously a genius. I can't believe I just whipped that up. Ah, it's cute. Except you got the waist wrong. The waist is huge. I think it's falling off because it doesn't really quite fit at the waist, you know? Well, that's what the belt is for. Can't you tighten the belt anymore? Just, just tighten the belt. I can't! The belt is as tight as it would go and it's way too loose on me right now. What? Okay, let me see. Ha! Stay still while I pin the waist. <gasps> Oopsies! Sorry! Did I kick the ball a little too hard and a little bit too high and it hit you? <gasps> oh no! Oh my gosh, now there's a big mud stain on this new skirt. Oh yeah, the soccer ball got kind of dirty because earlier I accidentally kicked it in the mud. Whoops! Uh oh, it looks like the skirt has mud on it now. Sorry! Oh my gosh, there is a big mud stain on this skirt now. I don't think you'll be able to sell this to Swag later. Yeah, you think? No kidding! <laughs> hey, don't look at me with those eyes. This time it wasn't my fault. I didn't do anything. My hands are up here the entire time. No stains. No kidding. The soccer ball has mud all over it. And look at the floor. It's so dirty now. Plus, you ruined the new skirt that I made for a client. Uh -oh. Sorry, it was an accident. You know what? I'm going to tell mom. You know you're not supposed to be bringing soccer balls inside the house. Oh, uh, no, please, no. Mom, Daisy brought in a soccer ball full of mud and she got mud all over the floor now. <gasps> no, don't tell mom, please, no. Mom, Daisy's playing ball inside the house again and getting mud everywhere. No, big sister, no, please. 
See, you are in big trouble now. Wait until mom comes in. What's going on here, girls? <sighs> mom, Daisy brought in a dirty soccer ball and look, now she got the floor full of mud and also she got this new outfit that I just made for my friend Swag all dirty and covered with mud now. Daisy, is that true? Did you play ball inside the house again and got mud everywhere? Um, no, no. Daisy, what's worse than playing ball inside the house is lying. Are you lying to me? Uh, no, I did bring the ball inside, but I didn't mean to. I was just... I was just, I don't know, I wasn't thinking. Sweetheart, you know you're not supposed to play ball inside the house, especially when the ball is covered in mud. Sorry, Mom. I know I promised I won't do it last time, but this time, it's for reals. Oh my gosh, it's not just the ball that's dirty, Daisy. Look at your face. What do you have all over it? Oh, you look like a mess. You you need a bath. <laughs> no, no, it tickles. Stop it. Oh, it is not coming off. Goodness. Come on, young lady. It is time for a bath. You've had enough playtime outdoors today. Uh, okay. Wait, what? That's it? Mom, you're not going to even, like, punish her or ground her or anything? Oh, my little sister is so spoiled. She always gets away with everything. Can't say I'm even surprised. You know how Daisy gets away with almost everything? Oh my gosh, I guess so, since she's literally mom's favorite. Anyways, I seriously need to make a new skirt then. Because look at that, there's mud all over this now. Oh man, I think I used all my blue outfit today. The only fabric I have left are all pink. Uh -oh. oh, Swag wanted blue. <sighs> Maybe she'll change her mind. Okay, she's going to be here any minute now, so I don't have much time. I might as well use these pink outfit. I can't believe what a horrible day it's been, but I still have to complete this because I really want that 50 bucks. Time to get back to work. Go, Crystal Star. I'll do some YouTube editing. I need so much fabric today. I seriously need to make that 50 bucks. That way I can afford more fabric. You can sell these skirts after you wash them. Yeah, I guess, but I don't know. Hopefully the stain will come off. Hmm, you know, it might. Honestly, even though it's not blue, it's looking pretty cute. I think this is actually my favorite skirt, and I definitely made this smaller. Hey girl, do you have my outfit for me? I've been so excited all day. Okay, I hope it's gonna be something blue and fabulous. Well, it's fabulous, but it might not be completely blue, just partially blue. See, this is the outfit. I'm modeling it. <gasps> Outfit? OMG, that top is so cute. But, oh my gosh, what the? Um, the bottom is completely dirty. There's like a big mud stain. Don't tell me, you guys, that this is the skirt to go with the top. Well, it actually was, but don't worry. I made you a new skirt. I didn't have any more blue fabric, but this is still cute. <gasps> but, but, it's pink though. I wanted to wear something blue for today. I mean, I do like pink, but I didn't want it pink today. Especially because I chose these shoes and I wanted my outfit to match. So I needed like a pink outfit for today. So why don't you try it on first to see how you like it? Yeah, you never know until you try it on. Just give it a try. Well, I guess all right. Since you work so hard on it, I could just try it. Okay. Ooh, it's actually super cute. I love this skirt! And it's super flowy, so you can literally dance the night away. You're right, this skirt is so flowy! Yay! Then do you like it? Do you want to pay me? I mean, do you want to buy the skirt then? Here's a hundred dollars. Do you have change? I believe we said 50, right? I need 50 back. Ah, uh, yeah, I have 50 in here in my purse, I'm sure. Let's see. Mm, there! Here you go! Thank you, girl. Love doing business with you. Oh, I'm still kind of bummed because the skirt doesn't match my shoes, though. Oh, I know. I have this shoe box here. 
The shoe is super cute and it's pink and I'm willing to sell it to you if you want for 50 bucks. Ooh, really? Uh, let me see what it looks like. Are they cuter than these shoes? Because these are like super cute, you know? Uh, I think they're just as cute. Here, let me show you. They are pink. Wait a minute. Those heels look familiar. <gasps> I got those heels for Uptown Girl for her birthday. I can't believe she's selling them off now. And they're brand new, you haven't worn them? Nope, I haven't worn them, they're brand new. I don't like pink anymore, I like black now. Uh, you used to love pink, I can't believe you're selling off the birthday present I got you. Especially because I saved up a whole month of my allowance to be able to buy those shoes for her. Uh, my little sister can be so insensitive sometimes. They're the perfect color for this skirt, oh, I do like them. Okay, let me try them on to see how they look. Super cute! But I think the size runs a bit small because it kind of hurts. Especially when I'm walking, I can feel the pain already. I like them. These heels are cute, but they run kind of small, so they're kind of uncomfortable. Uh oh. Oof. I think you just have to break into them, you know? With heels, you kind of have to just wear them for a bit, break into them before they get comfortable. Uh, okay, sure. I guess I'll just buy them from you since they are so cute. Hello, $50 bill! Yay, I made money too, so I have money for this trip as well. <laughs> By selling off the birthday present I bought her. <sighs> How rude. Alright, bye guys. Ow, 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 ow. These do hurt quite a bit. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to make it to the party in these heels. They do really hurt. Bye guys, see you later. Have a nice trip. Bye Swag, have fun at the party. Bye, Swag! Oh, yes, we both made $50! Yes! <laughs> Woo, high five! Now we have money for our vacation. Oh, I'm just starving. Can't wait for dinner. Oh, I'm finally done dinner. Since we have such a picky eating family, I had to make everyone their favorite dish, so it took me a while. Nobody wants to eat the same thing in this family. Our girls are quite picky eaters, but I'm not a picky eater. I would have ate anything that you cooked for me. Hi, Daddy, I'm here. Hold on, I just want to skateboard a little bit more. I just got the skateboard, so I really want to skateboard. Coming, coming. Mom, did you make me eggs? For some reason, I want eggs, even though I already had eggs for breakfast. So weird, right? Present, I'm here. Ooh, something smells really good, Mom. I don't know how Mom does it every dinner time, but she manages to cook all of our favorite meals all the time. Oh, and it all smells so good. I kind of want a piece of yours. You can have some of mine if you give me some of yours. Deal, deal. Look at how many dishes your mom made and how good all the dishes look. Your mom made this dinner, which is so much love. Yay, Mommy, you're the bestest. Wee. Wee, 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 wee. Daisy, come on, stop skating around. It's dinner time. We have to eat dinner before it gets cold. And did you hear what Dad was saying? Let's appreciate Mom's hard work by really eating the food that she made for us. Daisy? Just a little bit longer. I'm skateboarding. Hit with one foot. <laughs> Dad, Daisy never listens to me. She's still skateboarding around and it's dinner time. Daisy, why are you skateboarding in the kitchen? You know you're not allowed to skateboard in the kitchen. Not yet. Just a little longer. Just eat first without me. I'm going to skateboard just a little longer, jeez. Mom, Dad, are you going to let her get away with this? Yeah, she's still skateboarding and I told her to stop. She's always doing everything that she wants and she never listens to anyone. Mom, you should ground her for skateboarding in the kitchen. Dad, take away her bedtime story for tonight. Daisy, sweetheart, it's dinner time. Please put your skateboard away. It's time for a family meal now. Princess, why don't you put your skateboard away and you can skateboard some more after dinner. Let us all eat first. Can I have cake or ice cream if I have dinner now? I think it should be okay. Right, Mom? Daisy can have some ice cream after dinner? Mm, 
Sweets before bedtime does get you extra energetic, but if you come for dinner, then sure honey, you can have a little bit of ice cream after dinner. But only if you eat your vegetables. Ew, I don't want no vegetables. Not coming. What? Mom, Dad, why are you being so nice? Aren't you going to take away her bedtime story or ground her or give her any punishment? She's skateboarding in the kitchen. I can't believe my sister gets away with everything. Sometimes I feel like because Daisy is our little sister and she's the youngest, she's like mom and dad's favorite child. Well, I feel that way too. She gets away with everything. Daisy, dinner is not optional. You can't have dinner whenever you want it. Now I, yes I can. Dinner is right now. Stop skateboarding. <laughs> no, you can't make me. And it's dangerous. You might run into mom. Na 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 na, I can't hear you. Come on, sweetheart, Daisy, please. It's time for dinner. Put your skateboard away, please. Okay, well, let me bring the broccolis over. Oh no, sweetheart, are you okay? And the vegetables, the vegetables, are there any left? Oh my goodness, Daisy, are you okay, sweetheart? Are you hurt anywhere? This was exactly what I was talking about. This is why we don't skateboard in the kitchen. Something like this was bound to happen. Mom, are you okay? And you shouldn't be coddling her like that. She should be in trouble for skateboarding and running into you. Oh no! Are you okay? Is, is everyone okay? Or is anyone hurt? Oh my goodness, I knew this would happen. I called it. I knew she shouldn't be skateboarding around the house. I said it was dangerous. And look what happened. She skateboarded right into mom. And, well, I guess it's kind of a good thing. No vegetables, but oh my goodness! I know, I know, but as long as you're not hurt anywhere. See, this is why we don't skateboard in the kitchen. Well, I'm just glad that you're okay. Are you okay, mommy? How unfair is that? Mom, stop coddling her. You should be scolding her right now. Well, thank goodness everyone is okay and no one is hurt. I'm just glad that we're all okay. What? None of our parents are mad at Daisy? Seriously, our little sister gets away with everything. I'm sorry. Okay, well that's my good girl. Now let's go over there and have some dinner. So unfair. Yeah, this is so unfair. Come here, princess. Come to daddy. Daddy, I was skateboarding and then I actually bumped into mom. And I fell right here. And it hurts a little. <laughs> and then all the veggies are falling on the floor. Uh, we'll punish that skateboard for making you fall later. And after dinner, Daddy will give you an extra scoop of ice cream. Extra ice cream? Yay, Daddy! You're the bestest! Dad, you're not supposed to reward her for being bad. She just skateboarded inside the house and knocked into Mom and kind of ruined dinner. And you're going to give her an extra scoop of ice cream? How is she ever going to learn her lesson? Oh, I think your sister has learned her lesson. Right, honey? You told mommy you wouldn't skateboard inside the house anymore? Uh-huh. I won't skateboard inside the house anymore. I promise. I learned my lesson. Can I get another scoop of ice cream? I want three scoops of ice cream, please, please, please. Okay, okay. Let's all finally eat our dinner now. It's starting to get real cold. But mommy, I don't want to eat this. I want to eat my favorite noodles with, with the soup, soup, soup stuff. I don't want to have rice tonight. I don't want to eat this. I'm not going to eat it. <sighs> I knew this was going to happen, so I did make you your favorite noodles just in case. Here you go, sweetie. Yay! Yay! Noodles, noodles, noodles. I don't want to eat anything but yummy noodles. Mom, you spoil her too much. You already made such an amazing dinner for us, and she went and kind of ruined it by skateboarding into you. You didn't punish her, and you even made her her very own noodle soup. Uh, you're just giving her everything she wants. You're spoiling her, Mom. Oh, honey, you might not remember this, but when you were younger, you were like this too. And it's just a phase. Eventually, as you grow, you mature, and you grew out of it. 
she's still just a little child. When she grows older and she can understand more, we'll teach her more. But right now, we just have to be a little bit more patient. You were like this when you were younger too, sweetie. I remember being this spoiled when I was younger. Well, I guess there's no point arguing. I might as well just eat my food before it gets too cold. Mmm, mmm, so good. The meat is so tender and just melts in your mouth. Mmm, mmm, yum. Oh, I'm gonna grab some more eggs. So good. Oh, it's so good. Mom, how is your doctor's appointment today? Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, you went to see the doctor today. How was it? I was there too. It was boring because I was there for so long. But I met a new friend. I also saw some cute babies. And there was a lot of people at the hospital today. It was really crowded. Speaking of which, I have amazing news for our family. Okay, is everyone ready? I want to share with you all the big news. Wait, wait, wait. Let me eat a little first. It's been such a busy day running to the hospital, cleaning the house, and then taking your sister to run errands. I barely had time to eat all day. Mmm. This is really good. My cooking is incredible. Okay, ready? Oh, right, about that. How was your appointment today, honey? Is everything okay? Everything is great. Everything cannot get any better. The news is, I'm pregnant. We're going to be having another baby. Uh, what now? Say what? Yes, yes, it's not exciting. Our family is growing some more now. I'm having another baby. You're going to be having another baby sister or a baby brother. Yay, I'm going to have a little baby brother or sister to play with? Yes, sweetheart, you will. There's a newborn baby brother or baby sister growing inside mommy's stomach right now. And in a few more months, you'll have another sibling to play with and our family will be growing bigger. Whoa, another baby? I mean, I mean, that's fantastic, but I feel like we're gonna need to look at a bigger house. I'm speechless. I think my head just exploded. What? Girls, isn't this just great news? Aren't you excited? <laughs> you know, this might be a good thing. Yeah, yeah Mom, we are so excited. excited. Yay! Why are you so excited, little sister? If anyone, you should be the least excited because you won't be the youngest anymore. Yep, once the baby comes out, you'll become the middle child with me. <gasps> and you won't get away with everything anymore. <gasps> and when you're not the youngest, you don't get to be as spoiled as you are now. Look, mom and dad are already spoiling the newborn baby that's coming. Honey, you've had such a long day, and since now you're pregnant, maybe we don't have to read Daisy a bedtime story tonight. You should go rest early. That way, you'll be fresh and ready for tomorrow. Aw, thanks, honey. Maybe I should. It, it has been a long day. Yeah, you should rest more. I'll put Daisy to bed. Okay, thanks, honey. <laughs> no! I don't want a new baby sister and new baby brother. I want to be the favorite. I want mommy and daddy to spoil me. No! no! <laughs> ah! It's so boring. They what do you in here? Ah. Why did I bring any of my toys? I don't want the newborn baby to get any of my toys. Mm, there's nothing to do. It's so boring. Is anybody looking for me? Should I just come out? But then if I come out, mom is gonna make me take another bath. No. I'm never taking another bath again. I'm living in mom's closet forever. Mm -hmm. ah, so boring. There's nothing to play with. Hello? Is there anything in here? Uh, uh, I think my head's too big. Yeah! 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 
me, now you don't. Now you see me, and then now you don't. <laughs> One sheep, two sheep, 692 sheep. Mom, I'm gonna go in your closet for just a little bit. Since Crystal Star borrowed a scarf from you, I'm just gonna borrow a jacket from you. I don't have any jackets to wear for our trip, so I'm gonna borrow one of yours. Mom has a lot of nice clothes. She must have a nice jacket that I can borrow. Oh my goodness, what is all of this dirt on the floor? Usually Mom's closet is super clean. Why is it so dirty today? <gasps> Ew, gross! I stepped on something. Gross, my foot is so dirty now. I'm gonna have to go wash it later. Ooh, has mom not been washing her clothes or something? Oh my gosh, why are some of the stuff in here so gross looking? Oh my goodness, I hope the jackets are clean because if they're dirty, then how am I supposed to borrow them? Okay, what can I borrow? Hmm, there's so many options to choose from. Let's rotate mom's closet so we can see what jackets are available for me to pick from here. Mom's closet is so cool. Hmm, I don't see anything black. I want a black jacket. Ooh, I'm a ghost! Huh? Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> that is so funny! You fell on your bum bum! <laughs> Ow! I can't believe I got so scared I fell. Oh, that was such a hard fall too. Oh, gross, and on this floor? <laughs> that was really funny, but I'm sorry that I made you fall, the uptown girl. Oh, oh, Daisy. That was not funny, Daisy. You could have given me a heart attack. And besides, what are you even doing in Mom's closet? I live here now. Mom wants to give me a bath again, and I want to take a bath, so I ran away. Oh my god, Daisy, you are always so much trouble. I don't think running away counts when you're hiding in a closet. Well, I guess that explains why mom's closet is a huge mess right now. Just look at all this dirt on the floor. Like, what did you do? Why is there so much sand? Uh oh. Oh, jeez, Daisy. Pretend you didn't see me. Daisy, please come down from there. This is ridiculous. Mom's gonna find you sooner or later. You can't live in a closet. I can too. I'm gonna stay here forever and then I'll never have to take another bath again. Daisy, don't be ridiculous. Come down from there right now, please. Still firm on staying inside Mom's closet, huh? Well, you're lucky because I brought you something. I got you your favorite tuna sandwiches, some orange slices, and here's some kiwi juice. <gasps> Thanks, Crystal Star! You're the bestest! I was getting kind of hungry. Yeah, well, I thought I would bring you some food so that you won't get hungry and stay up all night bothering us later. What? What? Crystal Star, you knew she was in here the whole time and you didn't like to say anything? Why didn't you try to get her out? It's ridiculous that she's in the closet. Okay, you be my guest, okay? If you think you can get her out, then you try. You know how stubborn Daisy can get when she's up to mischief. I can't convince her to come out. You can try if you want. Uh, yeah, I guess so, you're right. Uh -oh. You know, when she gets into this mood of hers, it's pretty much impossible to convince her otherwise. I can't use my hands to eat. Can you please feed me, Crystal Star? Now we have to feed you too. Uh, it's so hard to resist her though because she's just so cute. But she's always up to no good. Town girl, hold the plate for me for a bit so that I can give Daisy something to drink. Here, Daisy. A higher, higher, it's too low. I be so thirsty. Mm. <laughs> ah, more. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I think mom and dad spoils her a little too much, but when I think about it, we also spoil Daisy as well. Look what we're doing now. We're letting her do whatever she wants and we're even feeding her. Our little sister is a super picky eater. She's always causing trouble during dinner time. Mom, mom, mom. Thirsty, thirsty. 
Daddy, more kiwi juice, please. <laughs> Wow, you must have been super thirsty, or I made this really well. Daisy, there's still some left. Do you want more? No, thank you. I'm full now. Now I'm gonna go back to living in Mom's closet. Uptown girl, Crystal Star, are you girls in here? What the jippers? Why is the floor so dirty? Girls, what's going on here? <gasps> oh no, Mom's here. Oh my god, what is going on here? There's sand all over the floor. It is filthy in my closet now. Girls, what's going on here? What are you doing in here? Oh, mom, um, nothing, nothing. I was just gonna borrow a jacket and I didn't bring in the sand. <gasps> mom, um, nothing. We're not doing anything in here that's suspicious at all. <laughs> right, my mother intuition tells me that something is going on here. Come on, girls, fess up. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. We're just hanging out in your closet. <sighs> Somehow something tells me this isn't nothing. See, when you have four kids, it's never a dull moment. Anyways, girls, have you seen your little sister Daisy? She needs to take a bath, but I've been looking everywhere. I can't seem to find her anywhere. Nope, haven't seen Daisy. No idea where she is. Not like she's over there somewhere. You know, like right over there, somewhere here. Oh, have you been looking for Daisy? Why, it's not like she might be over there somewhere. You know, somewhere up there. You know, over to my left there. <laughs> Come on, girl, seriously, it's getting late. I need to give Daisy a bath. Have you seen your little sister anywhere? Um, well... <coughs> 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 Are we playing a riddle together right now at night? Okay, what is it? What are you girls looking at? What's over there? What do you girls want me to find in here? Hi! Oh, oh my god, Daisy! You gave me a fright, young lady. What are you doing hiding in here? Oh my goodness. Oh, was that a heart attack there? Yeah, Mom, she's been hiding in your closet and I think the sand came from her because she was playing in the sandbox earlier, she said. She's been hiding here for hours now. What? She went back into the sandbox after I've already given her a bath earlier? Oh, Daisy. And Crystal Star, you knew your little sister was in here the entire time and you didn't even tell me? Well, well... She told me not to, and I don't want to be a tattletale. Daisy made it all by herself. I'm just as innocent as you are. I didn't know she was in here. I just found out just a moment ago, just before you. Mm-hmm. Somehow, I feel like you've known a little longer than just a few moments ago. Crystal Star Uptown Girl, your little sister is younger. She doesn't know better, but you have to tell me these things if you know she's doing this. Oh, rats. Our little sister always does something naughty and then somehow we always end up getting in trouble for it for her. Daisy, come on. Let's come down. It is time for a bath. You are filthy, young lady. No, Mama, I want a bath. Can't make me. No. Cry, Daisy. It's just a bath. It'll be a quick bath, okay? You definitely need a bath because you're so dirty and it's time for you to go to bed, young lady. I'll have to give Daisy a bath, girls, and then also put her to sleep. So do you think you girls can help me clean the closet? Oh man, I guess we can't leave your closet this dirty since we're going away on our family trip. Ah, uh, does that mean we have to clean it tonight? <gasps> no, seriously? Oh man. Daisy's always up to no good, and we always end up cleaning up after her. Thanks for cleaning up, girls. All right, come on, Daisy. We're not negotiating. Did you see that? Daisy didn't even get punished. Yeah, and now we end up having to clean up everything. I can't believe this. I seriously cannot believe this. Why did I have to be the middle child? I wish I was like the youngest like Daisy. <gasps> Um, Uptown Girl, we got bigger problems to deal with right now. Look around you at this closet. <gasps> so much mud and sand. Um. <gasps> oh my god. There's more over here as well. 
Wow, all of mom's clothes. And over here too. Oh, wow, look at that. And all of mom's jackets. Oh, no. Oh my God. What are we gonna do? We have to clean everything. And look, there's more. And the floor, oh the floor. Oh my God. It's gonna take us all night. Ugh. Come on, honey, it's bath time. Oh, don't cry, sweetheart. Why are you crying? You love bubble baths. No, I want to have a bubble bath. I don't wanna. Oh, come here, sweetie. You're gonna feel so much better after a bath, and then you can go to sleep. Otherwise, you're gonna feel really itchy and uncomfortable. No, I won't. I want to have another bath because I already had a bath today. You did already have a bath earlier today, but I don't know how you managed to get yourself so dirty again. Well, after the bath, I went outside to play in the sandbox again, and I had some strawberry cake, so it's only a little bit of sand. You are taking a bath, young lady, and that's final. This is not a negotiation. <coughs> almost done, almost done. Open wide. Okay, let's turn on some water. Make sure it's not too hot, not too cold. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Here, spit out toothpaste. Okay, and now rinse your mouth. Okay, good. Now that you've brushed your teeth, you can go to bed after we give you a bath. Hey, see my teeth are nice and clean now. Maybe I don't need a bath anymore. Oh my daisy, your face. Oh goodness, we're gonna need some soap. Let's really wash your face. Uh, <laughs> it tickles. Hold still, please. Okay, and then just on your nose. <laughs> Not in my eye, you're gonna get soap in my eyes. I will be careful, don't worry. Now let's rinse that face over here. There, that's so much better. Now I can really see your pretty face. I think I got soap in my eyes. How am I going to get soap in my eyes? Hold on, hold on. Let me get your towel here. Okay, we'll just dab it here. <laughs> uh, in my eye. Okay, hold still, sweetheart. Is it here? Okay, let me wipe your face. Nice and dry. Oh, I like washing my face. Water always gets into my eye and I don't like that. That's also why I hate that. I promise I will be super careful when I'm washing your hair tonight to make sure that you don't get any shampoo or water in your eyes. I will try my best, okay? Oops, that might even be a bit too much. There's a lot of bubbles now, almost overflowing the bathtub. All right, then that's good enough. Okay, your bath is ready here, miss. <gasps> there is a lot of bubbles tonight. Are they nice and fluffy? Yes, they're very nice and fluffy tonight. Okay, I'm coming. One more step. Daisy, if you don't want me to get shampoo in your eye, please hold still. Ah, it tickles! I don't like it when people touch my hair. Well, you have to wash your hair. Oh goodness, it is so messy and dirty. Uh, I'm gonna get in my eye! I'm going! Oh my gosh, Daisy! Oh goodness, she hid in the bubble bath. Daisy, come out here, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daisy, you gave me a fright there just now. And just look, my shirt is all wet now. Oh, giving Daisy a bath is never easy. Bedtime is literally a struggle every night. Good mommy, I rinsed off all the soap all by myself from going into the water. See? Uh -oh. oh my god, well at least something good actually came from that. Just not what I can do. When I wave my arms, it goes like push like this, it splashes. Look! Thank goodness the bath towel absorbs all the water. Oh. Daisy, please stop splashing. Look. Oh my goodness, look at all this water. 
daisy young lady. No splashing, okay. please. You're going to get the whole bathroom completely covered in water. Uh, it's more fun when I can splash the water. Well, it's not fun cleaning it up, so please don't splash any more water. Mom, the baby's crying. Oh goodness, what now? Um, sweetheart, can you please try to soothe your baby sister? I'm just in the middle of giving Daisy a bath right now. Oh, she's crying even louder now, Mom. We need your help. Oh my molly golly, having four kids is not easy. All right, all right, I will go check on your newborn baby sister, but could you please stay here to watch over Daisy? You know how Daisy is. If we leave her in here by herself, she's going to cause some sort of trouble. Oh, I seriously need a vacation right now. Good thing that our flight is tomorrow. Uptown girl, please, we don't have the time for this. Oh my god, seriously, why me? Oh, I regret coming in here and asking for mom now. Oh, mom, seriously, do I really have to, please? No. Just watch her for a few minutes. I'm going to go out there and check on your newborn baby sister. Maybe she's hungry or something, and I'll be right back. I promise. Oh my gosh, watching over Daisy is a nightmare because she does cause a lot of problems and trouble. Daisy, no splashing, and please go easy on your big sister. Don't cause her any trouble. And if Daisy doesn't listen to you, then you let me know, okay? All right, Uptown Girl, thank you so much for watching over Daisy. I will go check on the newborn baby now. <sighs> Daisy, mom said no splashing. Come here, I'll just give you a quick wash and get you out of this bath. Ah, you're getting soap in my eye! Soap in my eye! <laughs> Shh. Oh my gosh, Daisy, be quiet please. I don't want to get in trouble. Mom's gonna come in and think I did something to you. Okay, fine, fine. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> really? Like, can I splash water? <laughs> like this? No. I can go inside and, and hide under the water. Ta -da! <gasps> oh my god, Daisy, don't spray water out of your mouth. Oh, you got water everywhere. Oh, this is crazy. You are always up to no good. Hey, I need more water. Oh my god, you got water everywhere. Oh, there's puddles and puddles of water all over the floor. Daisy, this is not what I meant when I said you could do whatever you want. Especially now that there's water all over the floor. <laughs> it's so much fun. No, it's not. If you keep doing this, I'm going to call mom in here and tell her that you're splashing. <gasps> okay, okay, don't. I'll stop. Better. Look at the mess that you made. Look at the bathroom floor. It's covered in puddles of water that I now have to clean up. Oh, fine, just stop spraying water, splashing water, or pretty much anything that gets the floor wet. I'm gonna go get a mop and clean this up then. Yay, you're the bestest big sister ever, Uptown Girl. Well, make sure you wait right here, don't go anywhere, and please don't cause any more trouble. I'll be right back with a mop. <laughs> Looks like I'm all by myself in this big washroom. <laughs> Maybe I can just splash just a little bit. <laughs> I've taken Big Sister so long. She's been gone for so long. It's so boring. Baths are no fun when it's by myself. I wish I had more friends in here, Mr. Ducky. Do you agree? <gasps> what? Should I bring in Nemo and the rest of the game? more fun because I'll have friends <laughs> and then we can all take a bath together wait right here okay Mr. Ducky I'll be right back with Nemo <laughs> careful not to fall because it's slippery <laughs> I'm back look who I brought I got Oscar first <laughs> okay I found Flounder <laughs> Flounder was really hard to catch Nemo was hiding it was really hard to find him, but I found him. Ha, look, here's Flipper. Flipper tried 
to jump out of the aquarium because he was so scared when I got him. I'm back with Shark. There's a lot of running back and forth. Oh no, she got us. We are goners. Help. We have a lot of fish in the aquarium. It was a lot of work carrying all you guys one by one into the bathroom. So guys, who wants to go first into the bubble bath water with me? Oh no, we're all gonna die today! No! I'm too young! Ah! Huh, let's see, who should I take first? Oscar? Flounder? Nemo? Flipper? Guppy? Finley? Um... in here? I saw you running back and forth a lot. What are you doing? Oh, hi, big sister. I just brought all the fish in. I'm giving them a bubble bath. Oh my god, what? Oh, what are all of our fish doing in the bathroom? Daisy, you can't give fish a bubble bath. Oh gosh. Why? They probably dirty from swimming around all day. Oh my gosh, no, 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 Daisy, no. You can't throw Nemo in the bubble bath water or he'll die. Fish cannot go into a bubble bath. Oh my gosh, no, no, Daisy. Fish cannot be put into bubble bath water or they'll die. <gasps> it means if I put Nemo into the bathtub that he'll die? I don't want him to die. I almost killed Nemo. Oh my goodness. Okay, Daisy, why don't we collect all of our fish, friend, and put them back into the big fish tank. They can stay clean in their fish tank all by themselves, plus they swim around in water all day, so that keeps them nice and clean. And the fish tank is their home, and we shouldn't be taking the fish out of their home. Nemo and I are very close friends. That would have been a big mistake. Yes, so why don't we take all of our fish friends and put them back into the big fish tank where they can live and be happy. Uh, okay. Oh my goodness, all of our fish are here. I bet our fish tank is completely empty. How did you even manage this? Okay, let's go put these back one by one. I'm sure they're terrified and super stressed right now and they probably miss home. Oh, look at all of these fish. It wasn't easy. I carried them myself one by one. Okay, let's take them back home. Oh, I'm back. I finally found the mop. Oh, now you're back. Uptown girl, you're back. Yeah, I couldn't find the mop anywhere, so it took me a while. Oh my god, why are all of our fish in the bathroom? Yeah, weren't you supposed to be watching over Daisy? Oh my gosh, I only stepped out for just like a little bit. Look at the floor. It's full of puddles everywhere because she just kept splashing and spitting water out. Oh, and then I leave for just a couple of minutes and I come back to this. Oh, Daisy. She'll always find a way to cause some sort of trouble. See, you should have stayed here and watched her. I don't know. How was I supposed to know? I didn't think she'd be able to do anything bad in just a few minutes. You're lucky that this time I was here to save you. Otherwise, all of our fish would have been dead. Come on, Daisy. Let's put all the fish back into the fish tank. Okay. What a beautiful day. And what a beautiful blue house. Whose house could this be? <gasps> Oh man, I hope our luggage is not overweight because that would be a problem when we arrive at the airport. Uh, uh, all right, let's load our luggage into the car now. <laughs> Hopefully we have enough room in the trunk for all of our luggages. Oh, I mean, it is pretty spacious. I think we may have a lot of room in the trunk. Although this is a pretty big luggage. Ah! Oh, it's not gonna fit this way. I gotta turn it around so that it'll fit into the trunk. 
At least the weather is nice, even though I'm not looking forward to this trip at all, uh -oh. since I happen to have pink eye today. <laughs> Ow! Why are you always closing the door in my face? <laughs> Uh, a little help would have been nice. I had to carry our shared luggage all by myself. It's pretty heavy, you know. I can use a little help over here. Sis? Hmm? Oh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, I would love to help, but I can't today because, you know, I'm sick. Yeah, nice try there. I don't think laziness is a sickness. Come on, help me already. You know how heavy this luggage is? I know you're not sick. Whatever do you mean, sis? <coughs> See, I am so sick. I can't, I can't carry it. Could you please just carry the luggage yourself? And no, I'm not gonna carry this luggage myself. Help me already. <coughs> No need to fight, girls. We're gonna put the luggage into the trunk anyways. How many luggages do you have? Well, mom said we have to share this large luggage, but we each also have a big bag as well. What? Did your mom approve of this? I don't think those count as carry-ons on the airplane. I think your backpack's too big, girls. Uh -oh. oh, we're supposed to be traveling light this time. I don't want to have to say yes and then later get in trouble with your mom. Did you not ask your mother? Oh, girls, we're supposed to be traveling light this time. Oh, please, Dad, I can't put all the stuff in this backpack away now. It's too late. And besides, um, and here's my homework. I need to bring this backpack because it has my homework inside. Please, please. Homework? I mean, yes, yes, homework. Yes, uh, this backpack also contains all of my homework too, Dad. Please, just let us take this. We don't have enough space in the big luggage for all of our stuff. There's two of us. What do I do? I don't want your mom to get mad. If she gets mad, I'm going to tell her this was your idea, girls. I had no involvement in it. Now, I'll just put all the luggage into the trunk. There's a lot of space in our trunk, but these are very large luggages. Ugh. Oh, come on. <sighs> okay, I think it fits. Oh, but there's not much space left. Can you also put my backpack into the trunk first, please? Wait, what? Why do you get to go first? What if there's no room for my backpack after? No, Dad, please, can you put my backpack into the trunk first? Stop copying me! I said it first! Well, too bad! I want my backpack into the trunk first! There's no need to fight, girls. I will take both of your backpacks at the same time, alright? Oh! Oh, what is in these backpacks? Why are they so heavy? Oh, I don't even know if we're going to be able to pass customs at this point. Hopefully the airport will let us. <gasps> Dad, you managed to fit all of our backpacks. Yay, Dad, I knew you could do it. Yeah, but the trunk is pretty full now. There's not going to be room for any more luggages. That's okay. I didn't have any more luggages anyways. Me too. That's it. I guess we can go to the airport now! Gosh, it's been such a busy morning. Every time I changed her diaper, she would go potty again, and then I would have to change the diaper again. Wait, I think something's missing. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, jeez. I forgot my handbag. Uh -oh. I can't. My passport or money, keys are in my handbag. I gotta go back inside for a minute. Wait, what? Another bag? How big is the bag? Our trunk is completely full. We're not gonna have room to put in any other bags. Don't worry, it's just a small handbag that I'll carry with me. Could you watch the baby while I go back inside? Oh, alright. Oh, okay, but be quick. Uh, we want to be able to head to the airport so that we can have some time to check out the duty-free stores. Okay, okay. Now, where did I put my bag? Hmm. Okay, let's go find it. Sand castle! Okay, can you not make such a mess? Oh my gosh, you're getting so much sand on your clothes. I am not sitting next to you on the plane. I'm not making a mess. I'm making a princess castle. Okay, I need to get my shovel off because I'm going to make something really cool. First, I'm going to need a lot of sand, so let me dig. Oh my god, Daisy, your clothes are covered in sand. I do not want to sit next to you on the plane right now. Oh, why are you playing in the sandbox when we're about to head to the airport? Oh no! 
Daisy, you're always doing something crazy like this. Hmm, I wonder how bad your pink eye is now. Hey sis, how bad is your eye? Why are you wearing those sunglasses? Take them off, I wanna see. Maybe your pink eye has healed. Let's see, take off your sunglasses. Yeah right, as if I would take off my sunglasses to show you. You laughed at me earlier at breakfast. So no, hard no. Oh come on, I wasn't laughing at you, I was just you know, laughing. Take off your sunglasses, let me see. Maybe your pink eye's gone. Yeah, I highly doubt it. It's a hard no. Oh, come on. I won't laugh, I promise. Please, just take off your sunglasses. I wanna see it. <laughs> no means no. What part of no don't you understand? It's a hard and no. Oh my god, now I'm extra curious. I bet her pink eye has gotten a lot worse. That's why she's not showing me. <laughs> You guys, you know what would be so funny? If we took a picture and posted online. I bet my friends would love to see Uptown Girl, my little sister's pink eye. <laughs> um, Uptown Girl, hey look, I have something to show you. What? Uh oh. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad. <gasps> hey. <laughs> oh my gosh, hold still, this is too good. Oh my god! What are you doing? Hey! <laughs> I got so many good photos. Oh, I can't believe you pulled down my sunglasses and just took photos of me without my consent. I want you to delete those photos right now. I don't want anyone to see my pink eye. Crystal star! <laughs> oh my gosh, these photos are so good. Oh, your pink eye is so bad. Delete those photos right now. Yeah, right? No way! You better delete those photos right now or else, Crystal Star, or else. Yeah, no way am I deleting these photos. They're way too good. And remember the time you took a photo of me on the toilet? Well, this is revenge. Dad, Crystal Star took a picture of my pink eye and now she's gonna post it online. Tell her to delete it, please. Oh, not another fight, girls. Can we have one peaceful day where there's no fighting in the house? I'm not getting involved in this. Dad, I can't believe you're not gonna do anything about it. Oh my god, you guys, look at this photo. This is too good. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I even have a video of her. She's like, what are you doing? Take down that photo. <laughs> I'm gonna add some emojis. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <gasps> you are not posting that. Oh, yes, I am. Hey, what are you doing? Show me. No way. I am so posting this. Give me your phone, Crystal Star. Ow, watch it. You stepped on my foot and almost made me drop my phone. Well, then delete that photo. No way, Jose. Give me the phone. Nope. Dad! Uh, give me the phone. No way. This is too good. Hi, you can't get it. Yoink. Oh my goodness, I just got you that phone last year for your birthday. How long is your mother going to take? Girls, please, please stop fighting. I'm going to make a starfish mode then instead of a turtle mode. <gasps> What's that? It's a lollipop. I found a strawberry lollipop. Oh, yay! It looks yummy. Even though it looks like it's covered in sand. Maybe I can just blow off the sand. It's strawberry too and strawberry is my favorite flavor. God, Daisy, I can't believe you're eating an old lollipop you found in the sand. That's so gross. How many times have we taught you not to eat stuff from the ground? Throw that away right now. But it's probably my old lollipop that I didn't finish. 
It doesn't matter. This is absolutely disgusting. Throw away that lollipop right now, Daisy. No, I don't wanna. I wanna eat it. Throw that away right now, please. Otherwise, I'm gonna call mom out and tell her that you ate something off the ground again. And you know, we had a little talk about that. Yeah, it's fine. Don't tell mom. I'm gonna spit out the lollipop. <coughs> yeah, I'm not eating the lollipop anymore. Don't tell mommy and daddy, okay, please? Fine, I got better things to do. Give me that phone. No way. Girls, please. Oh, jeez. Give me the phone. No way. Girls, stop running back and forth, please. You're giving me a headache. Crystal Star, just delete the photo if your sister doesn't like it. And Uptown Girl, it was not nice of you to take a picture of Crystal Star on the toilet. Ah, I'm gonna add an extra emoji. Are you girls even listening to me? Okay, I found my bag. Mm, it's so yummy. Mm, it's so yummy. Mm, 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 mm. I can eat chocolate all day. Oh my god, Daisy, where did you get that chocolate bar? And it is filthy. It is covered in sand. Oh, don't tell me you ate something off the ground again. I finished it. It is so good. Mom, I am not sitting next to Daisy on the plane. Her clothes are covered in sand. And earlier, I caught her eating a lollipop that she found in the sand. It was covered in sand and it was gross. Oh my god, how many times have we talked about this, Daisy? You are not to eat anything off the ground. And oh my goodness, your clothes, they're all dirty and covered in sand now. What were you doing when all of this was going down, honey? You were supposed to be watching the girls, especially Daisy. Did you know that she ate a lollipop that she found in the sandbox? Oh, sorry, to be honest, I was kind of distracted. With what? And Daisy also ate a whole chocolate bar that she found in the dirt. She is so going to get a stomach ache later. You were supposed to be watching all of the girls, honey. Sorry, honey. Uh, Uptown Girl and Crystal Star got into a little bit of a fight. They were running back and forth and I must have gotten distracted. I was trying to stop them from fighting so I wasn't watching Daisy. <gasps> There's still a piece left. Finish it. Oh dear, what are we gonna do? Okay, let, first let me let's go change you. Oh, we can't have you sitting on the plane covered in sand. Come on. Uh, okay, let's go get changed inside, and then we're gonna have a serious talk, young lady, about eating stuff from the ground. Uh, my stomach doesn't feel so good, mommy. No, Daisy, you vomit everywhere. Okay, I need to go change Daisy. I'll be right back. We cannot leave to the airport this way. Oh man, at this rate, I don't know if we're going to be able to head to the airport early. Oh my god, is Daisy sick? Oh, I am so not sitting next to her on the plane. Uh -oh. Excuse me, I'm not sitting next to her on the plane. I already called it. Well, you have to because I'm not going to sit next to Daisy on the plane. Oh, please, girls, please, can we please stop fighting? Let's just wait here peacefully until your mother and Daisy comes back now. Oh, I gotta put on eye drops. My eyes hurt so much. But wait a minute. I'm gonna have to take off my sunglasses. And that means my sister. She might try to take more photos of me because she's evil. Don't you be taking any more photos. What are you even talking about? I'm not even doing anything. Jeez, like calm down already. Mm, can I even trust her? Ugh. I'm not gonna do anything. Why do you keep looking at me? 
chill already. <laughs> oh my god, your eyes look even worse now than this morning. That's why you were looking at me. You had to take off your sunglasses so that you could put in some more eye drops. Oh, so refreshing. Ah, here's my phone. I need to take some more photos. This looks way too funny. <laughs> Look how funny my sister looks. Hey, what are you doing? Why do I feel like there's like flashing lights or something? What's so funny? You're not taking more photos of me over there, are you? Crystal Star, stop it! Okay, good, perfect. I think I got enough good photos. That was so refreshing, even though I still probably have pink eye. <laughs> All oh, these photos are so good, even better than the last batch. Oh, I am so gonna post this. <laughs> oh my god, did you just take that just now of me? Hey, you better not be taking any more photos of me over there. Oh, this is too good. I'm gonna post this video up on my Insta to show my friends. <gasps> that video of me looks awful. Take it down right now. It's not fair, Crystal Star. You already posted something of me earlier. I only posted one photo of you on the toilet, not a video. <laughs> Sorry, too bad, so sad, it's happening. Hey baby, look on the bright side. You'll go viral and become famous for your pink eye. <laughs> Delete those photos right now. Nope. Let me see what other videos you took of me. Nope. Give me your phone. No way. <laughs> Oh man, girls, is this happening again? Can we just not wait here in peace? <sighs> oh, when I get my hands on that phone, I'm gonna break it. Uh, no way then are you touching my phone. What other photos or video did you take of me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls, cut it out. I'm putting my foot down. Let's stand here and wait for your mother and sister in peace. Dad, it's not fair. Crystal Star took a video and a bunch of photos of me and now she's posting it. Yo, I'm getting so many likes and so many new subscribers. <laughs> your video is going viral. You're gonna be famous, sis. Ah, this is what you post of me? No, 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 I don't wanna go viral. Oh, I can't believe this. You're so mean. Delete that post right now before any more people see it. No way. This is way too funny. And besides, this is revenge. Don't forget, you're the one that posted a photo of me on the toilet. Everyone at school called me Toilet Poopy Head for like a year. Oh, that was so long ago. Oh, well, that doesn't matter because I still remember it and I still have trauma over it. I'm so mad! Jeez, you really need to take a chill pill. Ow! My eye! Oh my god, sorry! Ow, my eye! You kicked the soccer ball right into my eye! Ow! That really hurt, you know? Oh my god, I am so sorry. I did not do that on purpose. I, I promise it was totally an accident. Oh man, I don't even know what to do. I wish your mother would hurry up and get Daisy changed and come out here already. What? You think I would do something like that on purpose? That's insane. I would never kick a soccer ball into your face and hurt you no matter how angry I get with you. That was totally an accident, I swear. Oh, do I ground her? Do I not? Oh, you know, it would have been really bad if you kicked the soccer ball and hit your baby sister over here. Dad, I swear I didn't do that on purpose. I would never do that. Ground her, Dad. Ground her for like a year. Look at my eye. Look what she did to my eye. It hurts. You know what? Your mother is going to be done changing Daisy any minute now, and she'll come out. She'll deal with you two girls. Look at how upset your baby sister is. Oh, there, there. All this fighting is really making her very upset. Okay, let's see the damage. How bad is it? <laughs> is it pink eye? Do I have pink eye now? <gasps> <gasps> see, it's not that bad. It's barely red. Are you insane? Look at my eye. It is so red. Oh no, I look horrible. <laughs> what do you mean? It looks pretty normal to me. It's just a little red. It's, it's gonna go away really soon. Don't worry about it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get some photos. <laughs> it does look kind of funny. And now it's my turn to get revenge. <laughs> 
Huh? What's that flash? <gasps> you better not be taking photos of me. <laughs> oh my god, this is actually too good. You're gonna post a picture of me. I'm gonna post a picture of you. <laughs> <gasps> Did you just take a video of me? <gasps> you better not post that. Give me your phone as if go away. <laughs> That's it. You have left me no choice. Huh. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, you're not getting back your sunglasses until you delete that post right now. Hey, where are you going with my sunglasses? Give me back my sunglasses right now, Crystal Star. Hey, Dad, make Uptown Girl delete that post of me. Ugh, I am at a loss for words. I'm just gonna let your mother come out and deal with this. Oh. If you don't delete that post, you are never getting back your sunglasses. All right, I've changed Daisy. We can start heading out to the airport now. But what is with all the commotion out here? What are you girls fighting about now? Mom, tell Crystal Star to give me back my sunglasses. I have pink eye. I have like a eye infection. My eyes cannot be exposed right now. Is your pink eye still pretty bad, honey? Has it gotten better from this morning? No, it's still pretty bad. See? It's awful. <gasps> oh my goodness. Yes, yes. It's still quite red and swollen. So make sure you don't forget to put on your medicine and your eye drops. <laughs> your eyes look like two big pimples. <laughs> they look so funny. Mom, you know what she did? She kicked a soccer ball right into my eye just now. What? A soccer ball right into your eye? Oh no, don't tell me you have a black eye right now. <laughs> okay, it's so bad, right? It's like red. Huh? <gasps> oh my goodness. I mean, I guess it's not pink eye, but your eye is a little swollen and red. <laughs> it's not a little bit. It's really swollen. Your eyes look like a big fat volcano. Uh, uh, gee, thanks, Daisy. That's not very nice of you to say. Crystal Star, give your sister back her sunglasses. But, but mom, that's not fair. She literally kicked a soccer ball in my eye and, and like it's so red now. Mom, that was a complete accident, I swear. Please, tell Crystal Star to give me back my sunglasses. You tell her, Mom. Shh! A moment of silence, please. I will deal with you, young lady, in a little bit for kicking a soccer ball into your sister's face. Your sister has pink eye. Please give her back her sunglasses, and then I will help you fix your eye. Fine, here. You can have your sunglasses back. Thank you. <sighs> Much better. But now what are we going to do about my eye, Mom? It's so red and it looks horrible. Hold on, hold on. I think I have just the right remedy for now. I have some foundation powder here to cover up that redness. Uh, is it really going to cover everything? My eye is really red. Mm, it's not that bad. It's just a little red. This should do the trick. Now hold still, please. Remove your hand, please. Mm, okay. Alright, let's just cover it up. <laughs> Even though I didn't kick the soccer ball into her eye on purpose, but I kind of like that she had the same eye as me. Now she can cover it? No fair. Hold still please, just a little bit more. <gasps> wow! That is amazing! It really covered everything! I can't even see that my eye is red anymore. Okay, can we call a truce now? I did not kick the soccer ball into your face, into your eye on purpose. And now that mom has covered it up, can we stop fighting please? Fine, let's call a truce. Okay, deal. No more fighting then. Mommy! Okay, okay. Let's see here. Okay, let's head out. Does it really hurt, honey? Do you think you'll be able to sit on the plane? Uh oh. Oh dear, this is bad. Oh, it feels so good. My stomach hurts. And I feel really nauseous. I think I have to puke again. And I hope you learned your lesson about eating stuff from the floor. Oh, this is bad. Right before our family vacation, too. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, well, we still have some time. Why don't we go to the ER quickly before heading over to the airport? Let's just make sure that Daisy is okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's just take Daisy to the ER. 
hopefully there's not gonna be a long wait list and a long wait time. I guess there goes heading to the airport early to go to duty-free shops. All right, family, get into the car, please. Oh man, seriously, we have to go to the hospital? I hate going to the ER. Me too. Get in, please. Let's quickly get Daisy to the hospital. Oh, this family vacation is starting out a little bit rough. Come on, sweetheart, we have to go. She's calling us. It's finally our turn. Come on, put the magazine away, Crystal Star. Aww. Carry your sister, honey. Mom, I don't feel so bad. I think I'm going to throw up. Oh my goodness, really, honey? Crystal Star, do you have a bag? Oh my gosh, she's been throwing up all morning already. Oh no. How can this happen right today, too, when we have a flight to catch? If this continues, is she going to be throwing up on the airplane? Uh-oh. So what happened was my sister went outside and she saw a worm. She picked it up, she brought it inside, and apparently she says that she thought it was candy or chocolate, and basically she ate a worm. Oh dear, she ate a worm. And uh, has she been feeling sick ever since she um, ate a worm? Yes, I was just upstairs grabbing the luggage for like a minute and then by the time I went downstairs, she had already ate the worm and she's been vomiting. She vomits so much, I was so worried so I had to bring her here to the hospital. Oh dear, she's been vomiting? Oh no, extreme vomiting is not good. We're gonna have to do some tests then. Okay, one second, let me just enter all of the information you've told me into the computer. Normally, it's not too big of a deal to eat a worm, except that it's very unhygienic. But since she's been vomiting, we'll have a doctor see her. That's the doctor. Finally, we get to see a doctor. Hi, doctor. We are so glad to see you. My daughter is feeling really sick. She's vomited a few times this morning, and I believe she ate a worm. That was the cause of all this. We've been waiting for hours in the emergency ER room just to see a doctor. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm so sorry for the long wait today. There was a rainstorm in the morning and we had so many accidents, uh -oh. but my name is Dr. Elsa. And my daughter here is Junior Elsa. She'll also be helping you today as a apprentice. Um, her school is doing a little thing here where she gets to go to work with me. I hope you don't mind if my daughter sits in, if that's okay with you. Hi! Today I get to be a doctor too, because my mom's a doctor. And when I grow up, I want to be a doctor just like my mommy. Oh no, I don't mind at all. I think it's adorable that your daughter gets to go to work with you today. However, I really, really need you to have a look at my daughter. She's feeling really sick and we don't have much time. We have a flight to catch. If we don't get on that plane, it's gonna fly off without us. Oh my, a medical examination on a time crunch. Um, I'll try my best. Okay, hi honey, how are you feeling? Oh, feel so good. My stomach really hurts. I threw up like four times. I guess I shouldn't have ate five worms this morning. Wait, what? You ate five worms? I thought you told me you ate a worm. I didn't know you ate five worms. Oh, did I say I ate a worm? No, I meant I ate worms. I ate like four or five or six. Oh my gosh, little sister, no wonder you feel sick. Why did you eat like five or six worms? I thought you said they tasted horrible. Yeah, they tasted horrible, but they look like chocolate and candy. So I thought that if I kept eating them, they'll start tasting like chocolate. Oh my gosh, just imagining a kid eating five worms. <laughs> Okay, dear, I guess we're gonna have to look into it because vomiting and a stomach ache after eating five worms is not good. I thought she only ate one worm, but she ate five worms. Um, okay, I'll try my best. Let's get you seated for examination. Let's get you seated here, sweetheart. This is my seat for little toddlers. It should be the perfect size for you. And then I'm gonna have to go through a long list of questions like were the worms covered in dirt? Um, how long ago did you eat these worms? Okay, little sister, let's get you onto this chair here. Aww, I don't feel so 
so good. Wow, doctor, you weren't kidding when you said you had a lot of questions to ask. I want to go home. My stomach hurts. <laughs> I feel bad for that little girl. I can't believe she ate five worms, though. Because when we were younger, we never ate any worms. And now we know that eating worms will give you a stomach ache and will make you puke. So next, I'm just going to check on your heartbeat. So I'm going to wear this thing around my neck and just place it here where I can hear your heart. <gasps> you can hear my heart? <gasps> Is it going to hurt? But wait, I think I had that before when I went to the doctor. It didn't hurt last time. It's not going to hurt. It might just feel a bit cold to the touch or a bit ticklish. <laughs> it is ticklish. <laughs> yeah, it can be a bit ticklish. Okay, looks like your heartbeat is normal. Now let's do the back side. Ah, what's that? This is called an otoscope. It just allows me to look into your ear canal and it'll allow me to check for any infections or too much earwax or if there's any lumps or anything in your ear. It wouldn't hurt at all, trust me. There is a lot of earwax in her ears, so I would suggest or recommend using some over-the-counter earwax removal drops. Okay, okay. Um, we can drop by the pharmacy or drugstore after this to grab her some um, earwax removal drops. Yes, but otherwise she's perfectly healthy. I didn't see anything to be concerned about. Doctor, is there anything that you can help with her stomach ache? We're gonna have to be on the plane soon and she can't seem to eat anything without vomiting and her stomach hurts. Is there any medicine that you can possibly just uh, prescribe to us? Just to be extra thorough and to make sure she didn't eat anything else that she may have forgotten to tell us, I'm just going to do an ultrasound scan. Uh, like an x-ray? To see her stomach or something? All this really makes me nervous. I really hope she didn't eat anything else other than those four or five or six worms. Worms are bad already, let alone anything else. It's just a precaution. Before I start prescribing any medication, I just want to make sure she did not ingest anything else that she shouldn't have that could be disastrous for her health. So we'll just do an x-ray scan. Note to self, next time mom asks me to watch my little sister before a trip, I will watch her and not even blink. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick scan. Is that going to hurt? <laughs> no, it's not gonna hurt. It again might just tickle. Ah. See, it just tickles, right? Ah, I guess it doesn't hurt. Can you see what's inside my tummy from doing this? Technology these days is amazing. You can literally see what's inside my daughter's stomach. I see her bones and her lungs. Wow, it's so clear. Oh yes, here at the Barbie Hospital, we have the latest technology, so we can really scan for almost everything. And luckily, I don't see anything that is concerning in your daughter's stomach at this time. As you can see, there is no coins and nothing stuck in there, so we are good. <sighs> One time, mommy was doing a scan like this, and we found a SpongeBob toy in another little girl's stomach. Yes, and that is exactly what we want to avoid and what we don't want to happen. A SpongeBob toy? Why would you eat a SpongeBob toy? If you eat your own toy, then you won't have any toys to play with. That's just silly. That silly? Says the girl that ate five worms covered in dirt because she thought they were chocolate. And we spent three hours waiting in the emergency ER room just to see a doctor. So I'm just gonna give you a shot. I'll try to make it as quick and painless as possible. But this shot will absolutely help your stomach and make you feel better. <gasps> Oh, sweetheart, I know needles can seem scary, but this will help you feel better and allow you to get on the plane. And you have to feel better if you want to travel and go on the plane. I promise I'll be as quick and gentle as possible. Okay, maybe you don't need a shot. I'll just hold this needle right here. 
Mm, Kirsten, what did you do this morning? What did you have for breakfast? Um, tell me about your morning. I woke up and then mommy made us breakfast and then I got changed. Did you change into this outfit yourself or did your mommy help you? Don't tell me you picked this outfit out yourself. Mama, I picked this outfit all by myself. I always pick my clothes by myself in the morning. Just like Big Sister picks her outfit. Ah! Hey! All done, all done. See, that was so quick and easy and painless. You were telling such a wonderful story and I just quickly gave you the needle shot. It didn't hurt, right? <laughs> oh, don't cry, Kirsten. You're okay, you're okay. You're such a big girl now. You took that needle shot and you didn't cry at all. You're even more brave than me. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> I'm not gonna cry. Yay, you took that shot and didn't cry at all. My baby, you are growing up so fast. I am so proud. And hopefully your stomach ache will go away and you can eat something later so that we can get on the plane. Don't be mad at the doctor, Kirsten. She's just doing her job. And besides, don't you feel better already? Did your stomach ache go away? And then later, we can eat your favorite food. What do you want to eat later? I do feel better already. Oh, I want to eat McDonald's. Oh, I just feel so relieved that you feel better already. Honey, you can eat whatever you want. Now, I don't normally do this, but you've been so brave. So, I will let you pick a toy here from my gift shop. You can pick anything you want free of charge. This is going to be a, a special gift to you because you've been such a good little patient of mine. Um, come and pick whatever toy you like, sweetie. Wow, look at all those teddy bears! I can pick any teddy bear I want! Yay! Yes, I just started this gift shop, so I'm trying to gain some customers. For today, you can pick any teddy bear you want as a gift. They're awesome! and cute. I can't decide. Um, okay. I think I'll take this one, please. I really like pandas. And this one is really fluffy and cute. She has a cute scarf and her scarf is pink. And pink is my favorite color. I think I'm gonna name her Bella. Bella the Panda. Okay, well, Bella is yours. You can take Bella home as long as you promise to never eat any more worms that you find outside or any stuff that's not food. Will you make that promise? So if I promise not to eat any more worms or anything I find outside, I can take Bella home with me? Yes. Do we have a deal? Shall we pinky swear? Well, as long as we have a deal. So we have a promise, okay? Okay. She should be feeling better already, but just in case, I do have some medicine here for you. Just give her a dose of this after a meal, three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, thank you so much, doctor. We're going to need this on the airplane in case she gets a stomach ache or an upset stomach again. We don't want her puking on the plane. <gasps> that would be disastrous. Can we have more than just one bottle? Maybe we need like five, no ten, or maybe a hundred, just to be safe and make sure. Huh, that's actually a good idea, Crystal Star. I mean, thank you so much for this bottle of medicine, but what if we need more than just this bottle in case she really starts feeling sick on the plane? Hmm, she's a tiny little girl, so I think that should be enough for her. Oh my gosh, please, I do not want to take any risks. It would be horrible if she picked the whole plane ride. Uh, all right, all right. How about I write you a prescription? Here is a prescription for another bottle, but just one more. That's it, okay? Mm -hmm. You can take this down to the pharmacy and give it to them, and they'll give you another bottle. Oh, what time is it? Oh my gosh, look at the time. We better get going. We still need to go home and make sure our luggage are packed. It has been such a long day, but thank you, thank you again so much, doctor. We are just running behind. Is there anything else that you need to do? Otherwise, we really have to get going. We really have a plane to catch.
Um, no, we're done here. Everything is done. Your daughter should be feeling better now. I do feel better. And she should be okay to be on an airplane. Have a nice, safe trip. Okay, my little chatterbug. We really need to get going here. Bye-bye. Thank you for making me feel better. You're very welcome. I hope you feel better. Have a nice and safe trip. Enjoy your vacation. Bye. It was really nice meeting you. Thank you so much again. It was really nice meeting you. Come on, honey. We need to go. I am right behind you, Mom. Press that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way, when a video is released, you'll be the first to watch it. Watch more of my toy videos by going to the search button and pressing in Minky Toys and Dolls or just Minky Toys. Lots of fun doll videos for you here.